Mentos. Diet Coke here. We got ourselves a green iPhone 11, brand new. Boom. We got a jar. The goal will be to put the iPhone in the jar with the Mentos, and we're with the Diet Coke in the jar with the Mentos and the iPhone, and then it's gonna expand fairly rapidly, and we're gonna try to put the lid on. This is supposed to be waterproof. Is it Diet Coke proof? Not sure. The other part of the test is, we're gonna see how strong this jar is. I'm guessing this jar is gonna explode because the Mentos is gonna cause all the fizziness in the Coke to expand out really like crazy, and that expanding pressure will probably rupture the iPhone 11's waterproofing. That is gonna be the test. It's gonna be like a compression underwater test, but just with Diet Coke and Mentos in a condensed, pressurized environment. And then the final question is, will the Diet Coke and Mentos build up enough pressure to shatter this glass jar? We've got a Phantom V1611 filming at 18,500 frames per second. If it does shatter, it's gonna look awesome in slow motion. Do you think the iPhone will survive? Two poles, top left, answer them now. Without further ado, it's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started! Now we gotta take all these things off, dude. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of work, actually. Time to unwrap the plastic. Oh, it doesn't fold the back the other way. So not oddly satisfying when you can't do the and then the other side too. You can't do both anymore, it's sad. We got this Diet Coke here. We're gonna fill up this here container first so we can pour it into the main container faster because it would take too long to pour out of the bottle. We'll keep all the fizzies in there that we can. I'm gonna pour this in to here, boom, real quick till it's like filled. Then I'm gonna quickly slap the lid on it. And we need to be wearing safety goggles because <laughs> this might explode. <laughs> right, here we go, in the rain we go. I'm so ready for this. Here we go. Oh, it's expanding, it's expanding. Oh, I don't think it's enough, dude. Wow, the lid's really tight for a second there. That's one flat Coke. <laughs> flat and minty. Flat and minty. <laughs> so instead, we're gonna try just filling this with Coke first, really gently, so hopefully it keeps more bubbles. So that, that, that first time didn't work because I think the, the Coke wasn't fizzy enough at that point. I mean, it overflowed pretty hard, but the, we didn't get the lid on fast enough either. That was another part of the problem. This way, we're gonna be able to drop them in and immediately put the lid on. Dude, we could do a reenactment of our original Diet Coke and Mental video. I think not. <laughs> Very much yes. Oh man. Comment section filled with, are they gay? <laughs> Okay. So in goes the phone. Boom. <gasps> Whoa! It's fizzing too much! <laughs> oh my god! It's coming out the sides! Careful. It won't close all the way, dude. Oh! You have to get a tight seal. I just feel like it's gonna instantly explode, you know? I upgraded my armor because I was really scared it was just gonna immediately explode. It probably wouldn't anyway, but still, that's why I was too, af I was too afraid to go up to it, man. Okay. Let's find out if the phone is still alive in here or not. Boom, phone is still alive. We got one more Diet Coke, let's do it. And this time, I'm gonna tighten it down quickly. All right, round three, start. Oh, it's not. No, it's sealed. Why is it sealed? I don't think this jar seals, dude. We'll need another jar. All right, well, let's go ahead and see if that iPhone 11 is alive. And look at that. It's still kicking inside. Boom. iPhone 11 still going strong. We're gonna need to buy a jar that fully seals, okay? This jar is not cutting it. We'll come back at this again tomorrow. Well, what's up and welcome, we're back. We've got a new jar. This jar does seal airtight for sure. So hopefully this will work a lot better this time. Let's go ahead and fill this up with Diet Coke. Oh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone in now. The phone will probably make it fizz up a little bit. Okay, holy crap. I'm so nervous. Three, two, one. It's tight. What? It's supposed to be tight. Oh my God. <laughs> Dang. I'm sure there was quite a bit of pressure in there because it was enough to, you know, outdo this lid. It was tight enough that it wasn't leaking until it was like a lot of pressure. I'm curious if the phone died or not. Let's see if that was enough to fry the phone. Nope, the iPhone is still alive. So, the journey for the right jar, we're gonna get it though. So we'll come back at this again after we find the correct jar. Okay, so we've got our third jar. This one hopefully will have an airtight seal. We've got this rubber silicone ring around the top. When we flip it over, uh, you have to actually press it down and the rubber seals it pretty good, I think. See that? Hopefully that's a good enough airtight seal. Or maybe the glass will explode this time. Who knows? Here we go. Please work this time. All right, three, two, one. Oh no, dude. Come on. Well, I can pretty much guarantee you that's a higher level of pressure than the last two. Okay, well, let's find out what happened to that. Oh, that still had pressure. Pop! <laughs> Poof! I was not expecting pressure. Okay, so this thing definitely had pressure in it. Let's see if the iPhone's still okay. It is. Looks okay, at least. Still functional, just fine. That was definitely the most pressure we've had so far in a test, but we had another idea. These jars, the seals just aren't good enough to keep in the pressure, so... We were like, what if we used a pressure cooker? So we're gonna try putting the iPhone, Diet Coke, and Mentos in a pressure cooker. Should be interesting. Honestly, not sure what's gonna happen there. <laughs> it might not even seal. Well, let's go get the pressure cooker and see what happens with that. Well, here it goes nothing. Let's find out what happens. In three, two, one. All right, we're sealed. Nothing's happening, dude. All right, well, let's see if that iPhone is still alive. There it is. Still doing just fine. All right, so I think we seriously overestimated the gaseous burstiness potential of Diet Coke and Mentos. Sadly, it was not able to trigger the pressure cooker's uh, valve because you have to have like enough pressure going out of it to actually push the, the rubber part up and make that seal. Okay, here we are again. This time we're gonna try some saran wrap, make the seal better, hopefully. In goes the phone. Boom. Phone's already making it fizz up. And in goes the Diet Coke and Mentos. Still fizzing, still leaking. Ah, oh, it was definitely really pressurized there still, but it's not enough of a seal. All right, so we've got all these layers of saran wrap on here. We're gonna see if we can get a good seal this time. I have really high hopes, actually, that we'll get a really good seal. In three, two, one. Oh, come on, is it sealed? Oh, it's not quite sealed. Oh, that's a seal, that's a seal. Oh, all right, I'm just gonna smash the Yeah, that's a good seal. We're getting a good seal of me holding it. All right, three. Two, one. Oh. Okay, here comes the jar. And the impact, Ooh, whoa, I wanna watch that again, just frame by frame. Starts at the bottom, cracks so quickly, only like five or six frames of video on the crack, and then just comes completely apart. Glass just flying everywhere, left, right, Front and back, we sh yeah, that's gonna be a mess of glass to clean up. Let's see if that iPhone survived this experience. Looks like it did. I don't think you're gonna be able to kill an iPhone with Diet Coke and Mentos. Let's see if the screen responds. Still does, appears to be in perfect working condition. So there you go, the iPhone 11 Pro is freaking invincible, the Diet Coke and Mentos. I don't 
think there's anything we could have done that would have killed this iPhone. Maybe, maybe if we held the jar a little bit longer, the pressure would build up a little bit more, but we definitely had high pressure in the jar at the end. It wasn't leaking out right before the drop. I'm really impressed with the iPhone 11's water resistance. I wonder how much pressure the iPhone 11 can technically withstand and still not die to water or liquid penetrating the device. This was a pretty tough test. I don't know if any of the previous generations of iPhone would have survived the same test, maybe. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more wacky tests, smartphone durability tests, and smartphone reviews, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. I will see you in the next one. Brandon, out. Woo.